So as I've said there, the one diamond opening is initially denying certain holdings rather than promising anything in particular. The the number of hand types that can open one diamond is actually quite wide. Um, but the thing about one diamond is that it specifically denies holding a five card major. It denies having a reasonable six card club suit. It denies having a reasonable five card club suit and a four card major. In other words, if you have got that hand type, the club suit is very weak. It also denies having a balanced hand with the right range for opening one no trump, because otherwise you'd open one no trump. So as I said in that first comment, it shows a hand that's not suitable for one of the other intermediate precision opening bits, i.e. with OCP, that's one heart, one spade, one no trump and two clubs. Any 11 to 15 hand that isn't qualified for opening one of those four bids opens one diamond. So let's have a quick look at the various kinds of hands that typically will open one diamond. Okay, so as I've said there, an unbalanced hand, i.e. not 5-3-3-2, with a five card or longer diamond suit. You might open one diamond with 5-3-3-2, but only if you're in the wrong range for one no trump. If you're in the right range for one no trump, you'd open it one no trump. So the second one is hands that are 4-5 in the minors. You might possibly be 4-6 in the minors with a very weak six-card club suit. But that that kind of a holding is fairly rare. Normally when nearly half of your cards are in one particular suit, you tend to have a reasonable enough holding in that suit to open two clubs. So the next numbers three and four there are balanced hands that are in the wrong range for one no trump. So if we're not vulnerable, if you're 13 to 15 balanced, then we open one diamond. And if we are vulnerable, then 11 to 12 point balanced hands open one diamond. And the last one, number five, is any 4441 shape hand that's 11 to 15. Okay, so the last hand type, which is much less common, it does occur occasionally, but it is relatively rare for the reasons I mentioned before, is is hands with a, a weak six card club suit that's not unsuitable for a two club opening, because as we saw last week, if you open two clubs, you're showing a reasonably good suit. So if you've got jack eight to six, clubs then that's not good enough for opening two clubs so open it one diamond thank you for that Roger well that shows the point that the weak six card clubs is by far the smallest percentage of all the one diamond openers on balance you're 30 times more likely to have the wrong shape, sorry, the wrong range balanced hand than you are to have a weak six card club suit that's not good enough for two clubs. Okay, any questions before we move on? Any questions about uh, the requirements for opening one diamond? What it shows, what it denies, when you should and shouldn't open one diamond? Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is one of the most crucial things about one diamond, is that although we can have as little as a singleton diamond, in practice, the one diamond opening is not forcing, even if responder only has two or three diamonds, it's not forcing. If they've got a weak hand, sort of naught to seven typically, and nothing better to suggest, then Responder will normally pass one diamond. So 
so that may seem a little bit odd that we could end up potentially playing in a one two fit in practice it's quite hard for ops to stay silent when that's the case it's not unknown but normally one of them if one of them's got lots of diamonds the other one's probably going to be reasonably short and so you may get a protective double you may get an overcall um, yeah go on Dick while uh, Dick is typing his question uh, I won't say that the wheel has never fallen off um, it does sometime but statistically the number of times when partner opens one diamond then it goes one diamond pass 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 and you get a really rotten result is actually statistically small enough to be almost negligible I mean just to give you an example I can remember one time um, yes East could you're right I need to give him a couple of more points well spotted sir No, he had a 12 count. He's got a 14 count now, Charlene. Um, so don't don't worry over much. What I've said before doesn't mean that responder is forbidden to bid with naught to seven. If you've if you've got a diamond shortage and say a five or especially if you've got a six card major and you're sort of in the five to seven range then by all means show the major you know if you have a sequence like one diamond one heart one no trump two hearts that's drop dead with a weak hand with probably six card hearts so I'm not saying you can't bid as responder with naught to seven if you've got nothing better to suggest then uh, better to pass So as you can see here, we tend to just bid four card majors up the line. So this is not giving preference West's two diamond bid here. Um, I don't see why not. Can anybody see these West hands? Uh, it must be your kib setting or something, uh, Charlene. Sorry. You need to be kibbing all four hands or whatever. Okay, so two diamonds here is not giving preference to diamonds. Two diamonds here is showing a diamond suit because one diamond doesn't promise diamonds and the one spade bid doesn't promise diamonds. So so this is, this is not West saying, oh, well, if you don't like hearts, I'll give preference to your diamonds. This is definitely showing four plus diamonds. So two hearts is simply giving preference to hearts. Now, I mean, that might, that's not support. That's just a preference. Um, and since if East had a bursting maximum 15 count, they would probably be bidding three hearts rather than two hearts. Um, it's open to West here. Uh, to invite if they want but they're a bit flat with 254 two shape um, so they might bid three hearts but in more likely just to pass two
Any questions? So we try and find a major suit fit if we can. Or we're quite happy to play in one no trump. So if West had decided to bid one no trump over uh, one spade, then we could quite happily play in one no trump, which wouldn't be terribly successful. No, of course it's not forcing. As I said before, Sanya, um, responses to the one diamond opener opening are almost completely natural and for the most part non-forcing. Where's my Esther? She's here. Hi Esther. <laughs> Um, a jump shift by responder will tend to be forcing uh, if it went one diamond one heart one spade three diamonds this is now five five um, and and semi forcing it's not totally forcing if uh, East really has a rotten hand then they're allowed to pass on the basis that if uh, West had a really strong 5-5, five five, they can use Alpha over one diamond if they have a big distributional two-suited hand. So uh, it's semi-forcing, but it's not actually forcing. Um, because there's also the 2-no trump response available to Responder, which we'll come to in a bit, which is notionally 16 plus balanced and a forcing inquiry but so we'll come back to that in a little bit okay so an initial jump shift by responder is game forcing um, so if it goes one diamond two hearts that is game forcing once we uh, start using asking bids, we'll find that that's an asking bid called alpha, which is asking about hearts. Um, but that's getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. So for the time being, we just treat it jump shifts over one diamond as, as game forcing and natural and strong. So one diamond, two hearts, one diamond, two spades, or one diamond, three clubs is just game forcing with at least a five card suit in the uh, the suit bid. Just bear with me a minute. Just tweak this hand. For some reason, all of these. I think the reason I'm having to tweak these hands is because when I originally created these hands, um, because we hadn't got to one no trump yet we were assuming a 13 to 15 one no trump throughout but uh... so the one no trump rebid over one diamond and one of a spade major response the one no trump rebid shows whatever balanced range is not appropriate for one no trump opening so here um, we're not vulnerable so if when south rebids one no trump they're showing 13 to 15 balanced if north south were vulnerable they would be showing 11 to 12 balanced and it's very important, uh, even if 
opener doesn't end up rebidding one no trump that you bear that in mind because the balanced hands as we saw from those uh, uh, st stats that Roger posted a short while ago the balanced hands are by far the most common hand types for one diamond openings so even if it goes one diamond, one heart, two hearts, responder has to bear in mind here that if south is balanced, they are 13 to 15. If they're not balanced, then obviously they could be any range. But then if they're not balanced, the chances are that they are lower range for their two heart bid because with an upper range hand they'd be more likely to bid three hearts and that can affect whether responder feels it's worth their while uh, inviting you've always got to bear in mind with one diamond openings um, what range uh, opener might be if they've got a balanced hand in other words, you can afford to be um, a little bit more adventurous, perhaps, uh, when you're not vulnerable. Because if openers open one diamond and they're balanced, they're going to be 13 to 15. Whereas when you're not vulnerable, sorry, when you are vulnerable, you need to be a little bit more wary. Uh, because if opener is balanced, they're going to be 11 to 12. And I know that goes against the sort of the adage that it's worth pushing for vulnerable games and less worth while pushing for not vulnerable games because the math of uh, making rather than going off is more in favour of pushing towards a vulnerable game. But you have to bear that in mind. Yes, he can. Like I said, all of the um, the vulnerabilities and so on have got mucked up here. Uh, yes, South South could pass one heart, but they've got you know they've no reason to suspect. Given that one heart doesn't have to be five card hearts, Sanya. Um, he could certainly pass if he had three hearts, but here where he only has two and one heart's only promising four, better to rebid one no trump. Give give South three card hearts. Yes, certainly pass. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Any any questions initially on the initial responses to one diamond at the one level? We haven't got to the two over ones yet, but the um, the one diamond, one heart, one diamond, one spade are just a one round force, promising at least a four card suit. One diamond, one tr one no trump shows eight to ten balanced. If you've got eleven plus, don't rebid, don't respond. One no trump. Uh, you've always got something else that you can bid with eleven or more, as we'll come to in a minute. Okay, so we've covered one diamond, one heart. Uh, no, we haven't. Okay, so here are the uh, responses in a little bit more detail.
Okay, so Responder can be quite strong for one heart. Um, you know, they might well have 13, 14 points, even 15. Um, but it's a one round force, so they know they're going to get another bid. So there's no need to start jumping off the deep end with Alpha or a game forcing response uh, unless you've got a hand that's worth showing that way. Okay, so one diamond, one heart, one no trump, as we saw here, definitely denies having four card spades. Uh, one diamond, one spade, one no trump might have four card hearts, obviously. Uh, but since um, Responder has effectively denied having four card hearts unless they've got a major two suited with longer spades um, it's okay for for south to rebid one no trump or sorry for opener to rebid one no trump over one diamond one spade if they got four card hearts because one diamond one no trump two hearts is considered a reverse in OCP it's promising five plus diamonds and an upper range hand as well as four card hearts. Okay, so if if opener rebids in a minor, it's natural with a five plus card suit nominally. So normally, if opener rebids two clubs, as I've said there, it's almost always going to be uh, five card clubs and four card diamonds. Rarely, it might be a weak six card club suit. But what it won't be uh, is a balanced hand with a five card minor. Because if you've if you've got a two three three five shape hand with five card clubs <coughs> and a doubleton in spades, and it goes one diamond one spade, you're just going to rebid one no trump. You're not going to bother to show the clubs. Similarly, if it goes one diamond one heart and you've got two spades and three hearts, better to bid two hearts. Yes, you might be an emotion fit, but uh, a lot of the time partner will have a five card suit and either way we've got an acceptable fit and if partner's got a weak hand they're just going to pass it if they've got a strong hand it may well be that you will get a chance to actually find out that you would be potentially playing in a 4-3 fit and if 3-0 no trumps is an acceptable alternative um, it's normally if you're bidding OCP correctly it's normally uh, going to be possible to end up in three no trumps despite the major suit agreement at the two level. So Responder might have, if you've got a really weak hand as Responder with five spades and four hearts and you're sort of around the seven or eight mark, it's better to make a decision on the opening round of bidding to either show the spades, the five card spades, and almost forget about the four card hearts, or to forget about the fifth spade and bid one heart initially. Um, because if you've only got seven or eight points, the chances are that your hand is really only worth one bid. Um, 
So it's it's better to make that decision and then stick to it. I wouldn't suggest that it, you have bidding that goes one diamond, one spade, something, two hearts on a six, seven count. It's okay to bid one spade, um, but if partner shows a lack of support for spades and bids one no trump or bids a five card minor, unless you're sh really short in that minor, um, it's normally better to uh, just go quietly. So either pass one no trump or pass two of a minor, unless you've really got something better to suggest. Okay, so just as over one dam, one heart, uh, over one dam, one spade, two clubs and two dams are just both natural. Um, I said before that, that if you're lower range with weak five card clubs and a four card major, um, it's usually better to pass initially. Uh, because that shape is quite difficult to to show um, if you're lower range because if it goes one dime and one heart or one dime and one spade and you rebid two clubs partner will normally assume that you've got five card clubs and four card diamonds um, and when you haven't got that or you haven't got a six card club suit uh, uh, it can lead to problems. If you're lower range, you can end up getting too high or you just have to accept that you can't show your whole hand shape. So if you're lower range with a four card major and weak five card clubs, i.e. not good enough for a two club opening, if you're certainly if you're minimum I would tend to to pass initially and hope to come in later if you're upper range you can't afford to do that and you need to decide whether to lie slightly and open two clubs or to open one diamond and then hope that you get a chance to show your hand shape properly and as I've said at the end there in the last sentence uh, if it goes one down one spade two clubs you might possibly be 4441 with a singleton spade, um, particularly if a one no trump rebid by you would be misleading from the point of view of your range. So if you're if you're not vulnerable and you've got a 12 count with one 444 shape, then you don't really want to rebid one no trump over one diamond one spade because that's now showing 13 to 15 so you might well rebid two clubs which will normally be four five in the minors and hope for a, a sensible outcome it's better to to lie by one card about your shape than to lie considerably about your range any questions so far on uh, one diamond one heart and one diamond one spade Just going on for that last one, obviously if a one no trump rebid would be accurate from the point of view of your range, then you can freely decide to rebid one no trump over one diamond and a one of a major response. Even with three one four five, if it goes one diamond, one heart, and you've got a singleton heart and three reasonable three card spades, you might decide to rebid one no trump if your actual range is accurate for that one no trump rebid. Uh. 
Okay, so one down, one no trump is totally natural. It just shows eight to ten balanced. Um, denies having a four card major. Um, but if you, you know, and you have to take balanced with a pinch of salt. If you were, for example, two, two, four, five with a nine count, you're not strong enough to start bidding a two over one response. So you might uh, just rebid one no trump, or respond one none no trump rather with eight to ten. If you've got eleven or more, you can afford to bid two clubs or two diamonds, but not when you're uh, eight to ten. So you're not promising four three 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 or four four three two shape when you rebid. Sorry, when you respond one no trump. Okay, so again here, if it goes one down, one no trump, two clubs. <coughs> um, it'll almost certainly be five card clubs and four card diamonds. Uh, a two diamond rebid will be five card diamonds. And it's probably not a hand that's interested in looking further bearing in mind that responder has denied having a four card major and it's probably opener almost certainly has a hand with a weakness in at least one major If openers reasonably balanced, they're normally going to pass one no trump, unless they raise it to invite to three. And continuations over these, I, I haven't mentioned all of the possible continuations here, but if it goes one diamond, one no trump, two no trumps, and uh, it's only going to happen when uh, opener could be 13 to 15 for their one diamond opening and one no trump rebid. If it goes one down, one no trump, two no trumps, then clearly opener's got a bursting maximum 15 count and it's, an, it's a normal invitation to, to three no trumps. If we've got 10 opposite 15 rather than eight, then we want to be in three no trumps. Okay, the last comment there, um, I have done this myself. If you've, after one diamond, one no trump, where we know that Responder has got at least seven cards in the minors, if you've got a minimum hand with five card diamonds and four card clubs, it's quite possible that Opener will actually decide to rebid two clubs rather than two diamonds if they're 5-4 in the minors. Um, that shape will normally be showing 4-5 in the minors rather than 5-4. But where uh, we know that Responder has at least one four card minor, it's cheaper especially when opener is minimum um, to potentially 
playing two clubs on a four forfeit rather than maybe bidding two diamonds and finding that you're ending up playing at the three level in clubs rather than the two level in diamonds if uh, responders got five card clubs and two card diamonds so that's an acceptable view for opener to take okay any questions about the the one level responses to one diamond before we move on I've not come to later continuations we'll we'll cover them in a little bit more depth in a bit but any questions about the initial one heart one spade and one no trump responses and the initial continuations over that okay Okay, so one diamond, two clubs, and one diamond, two diamonds are both one round forces with 11 to 15 points notionally. We normally treat them as being forcing to two no trumps at least, but strictly speaking, they are only forcing for one round. If it goes one diamond, two clubs, uh, we bid naturally over that, but it's rare that a uh, responder will have four-card diamond support. Because, as I've said there, they would actually tend to bid two clubs, sorry, two diamonds rather than two clubs if they had both minors. Because the two diamond responses uh, response puts less pressure on opener, as we'll see in a minute. Okay, the reason I said what I just said about one diamond, two diamonds puts less pressure on opener than one diamond, two clubs is this. Over one diamond, two clubs, a bid of two hearts or two spades by opener is considered a reverse, i.e. with a four card major and a five or five card or longer diamond suit and upper range in other words if it goes one diamond two clubs two hearts or one diamond two clubs two spades we treat that as showing five card or longer diamonds as well as the major and an upper range if not maximum hand however over one diamond two diamonds we don't it's because over one diamond two clubs if partners got a lower range hand with five card diamonds and a four card major they can just bid two diamonds quite happily to show to show their five card suit because they know that over one diamond two clubs responder will not uh, have a four card major unless they've got a game forcing strength hand and can afford to bid their longer club suit first and then rebid their four card major as a game forcing response because a reverse by responder is always game forcing. However, over one diamond, two diamonds, uh, opener doesn't have that ability. If they've got five card diamonds, and a four card major if they bid three diamonds over two diamonds it's going to tend to hide the major but similarly we don't want to miss the four card major fit if we can uh, if we can find it so 
So over one diamond, two diamonds, a bit of two hearts or two spades is not a reverse in OCP. It's just showing a four card major. OK, any questions about that initially? Because that, that's an important difference to realize. Um, that if you bid two clubs, partner can't show a four card major unless they've got a hand worth a reverse. But if you respond to diamonds, they can. And that has an effect on what you bid, whether you sh if you've got as responder, if you have a four card major and a five card club suit, it makes a difference as to whether you initially bid one heart or one spade over one diamond and then show the clubs or whether you bid the clubs first. If you've got a hand worth a game force, then bid two clubs first. Um, you, over two clubs, two spades would show a maximum, yes. Two no trumps wouldn't. And three clubs wouldn't, but two hearts and two spades show an upper range hand because it's a reverse. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, right over. Uh, yes, okay. Right, no, they don't show a maximum. That they're, they're not reverses. But one diamond, two clubs, two hearts or two spades are reverses. You've got to give opener an out here, Sanya, because one diamond, two clubs is forcing for one round. So over one diamond, two clubs, two no trumps, two diamonds, sorry, two, over one diamond, two clubs, two diamonds just tends to show five card diamonds with almost potentially any range. Because in practice, the two club bid is normally forcing to two no trumps. Uh, so two no trumps just shows a lower range balanced hand or just shows a balanced hand of the range um, not suitable for one no trump. But it would tend to suggest that you're lower range rather than upper range. If you if you had a, a 15 count, you would probably rebid three no trumps rather than two no trumps. You don't. You just show your major at the two level. Because if it goes one diamond, two diamonds, two hearts, the times when that is going to be passed, it's just never going to happen. Okay. Um, the thing is, if you've got a hand worth a reverse then the fact is you've got a massive diamond fit. Okay. But Michael, it is a reverse over one diamond, two clubs. It is a reverse. Anybody who tells you that it wasn't a reverse... is wrong I, I mean I Michael I've explained why you see if you if you have if if opener has weak five card clubs and a four card major then basically you don't want to to show that hand as, as a reverse over one diamond two clubs you're just going to bid something like four clubs because you've probably got a, a, a nine or ten card club fit. If it goes one diamond, two clubs, and you've got a reverse with five card diamonds, then if you're not lower range, you can show your four card major, and that's a reverse. If you are lower range, you just bid two diamonds because you know that you haven't missed a four card major fit. 
because the only time Responder is going to bid two clubs when they've got a four-card major as well is when they've got a hand where they are worth a game-forcing reverse. So it's going to go one diamond, two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts or two spades. That's game-forcing because any reverse by Responder is game-forcing. Okay, Michael, does that does that answer your problem? I haven't seen um, that post in the forum that you're referring to. But like I said, if somebody's told you that one diamond, two clubs, two hearts, and one diamond, two clubs, two spades are not considered a reverse, then they're wrong. Okay. 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 If you just post a reply, even if it's just a one letter reply to that thread, um, I'll see it. Michael, okay. Okay, let's just, just deal with, with all of that in a little bit more detail. Just to cement home what I've just been saying. Okay, so over one diamond, two diamonds, two of a major is normally showing a four-card suit. <coughs> Very exceptionally, it might be um, showing a three-card suit when they've got a weakness elsewhere. Um, but certainly, one diamond, two diamonds, two of a major does not have to be upper range. So if you've got if you've got both minors, it's normally better to rebid sorry, to respond to diamonds rather than two clubs if you've got a hand that wants to do one of the two. But particularly if you've got both minors and a major uh, you might be 4144, for example, or 1444 with a strong hand. Better to respond two diamonds rather than two clubs because uh, if opener is 4-4 um, in the majors, they can freely show uh, their majors over a two diamond response, but they can't over a two club response. So that's the critical point, that last that sentence there. If you, if you bid two clubs or two diamonds and you have a four card major as well, you will be strong enough that you've got a game going hand. Because you're obviously intending to show your minor and then reverse into your major. If you've only got a weak or an invitational hand, you will not be bidding two clubs or two diamonds first. Even with an invitational hand, you can't afford not to show your major at the one level. Unless you're going to hide it.
Okay, last one quickly. Um, we haven't really looked at four 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 one shape hands. So if you've got a four 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 one shape hand as opener and responder bids one no trump, generally speaking, because one no trump is showing um at least seven cards in the minors with a basically balanced hand. Uh, if you're 4-4 four, four in the majors, you're going to tend to pass. Um, if you've got a weakness in one major, i.e. a singleton in one major, then you would tend to rebid two clubs or two diamonds when you're 4-1-4-4 four, 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 or 1-4-4-4. Because four, four, four. if partner hasn't got a four-card major and you've got a singleton in one major, you clearly can't afford to play in one no trump. So better just to bid two clubs and let partner think that you're four or five in the in the minors. But either way, they must have a four card minor, so you're gonna be okay. So by all means, pass one no trump. If you're four four in the majors over one down one no trump, um, and you're unlikely to come unstuck. If you've got a maximum hand, uh, you can afford to bid on and and push towards game. You might bid two no trumps over one no trump. Again, if you're maximum, um, and so if you're not vulnerable and it goes one diamond one no trump two no trumps partner will think you're 13 to 15 balanced i.e you've got 15 points balanced but actually you might be four four one four or four 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 one because you know that partner's got seven cards in the minors so your singleton in a minor is not likely to be crucial because hopefully partner will be able to cover that suit Okay, if there's no more questions about um, the natural responses to one diamond, um, we're just going to take a quick look at the, the one <coughs> artificial response that we have, which is the two no trump response. Okay, so two no, one diamond, two no trumps in principle shows 16 plus balanced it certainly shows 16 plus and in principle it's balanced I did explain it Ellie uh, you obviously weren't listening okay if over one diamond two clubs if you have a lower if if opener has a lower range hand with five card diamonds and a four card major over one diamond two clubs they can just re-spid two diamonds with a lower range hand that they don't want to reverse in however if it goes one diamond two diamonds they don't have that option they either have to show the major or they have to rebid three diamonds and effectively hide the major. That's why over one diamond two clubs, two hearts and two spades are considered reverses, but over one diamond two diamonds they aren't. Okay? That's why over one diamond, two diamonds, actually there's less pressure on opener because they can freely show a four card major at the two level because the two diamond bid is forcing 
but over one diamond two clubs because they have the option of rebidding two diamonds the two hearts and two spade bid are considered reverses because if opener doesn't has a four card major but doesn't have five card diamonds then the chances are that they're balanced in which case they can just happily rebid two no trumps because the only time where you're going to be m not finding your 4-4 four, four major fit at the two level is when responder is strong enough themselves to reverse into their major at the three level. So one diamond, two clubs, two no trumps might have might be four four in the majors. Because the only time that responder is going to bid two clubs first, if they have got a four card major, is when they're strong enough to make a game forcing reverse into it at the three level. OK. Like I said, it's all explained that on the website in, in a fair amount of detail. OK, back to the two no trump response. Um, so the, res the rebids, openers rebids over one diamond, two no trumps are as follows. OK, so the first one you want to look at is the three no trump rebid. Because that's any lower range hand that does not have a four card major Oi! next look at the three heart and three spade rebids which are lower range hands with a four card major and again if you're four four in the majors you rebid three hearts okay Anything else, therefore, is showing an upper range hand. So three clubs shows four five in the minors. Um, upper range. Three diamonds shows five card diamonds upper range. Might have a four card major if they're uh, semi balanced four two five two or two four five two. Four clubs is the weak six card club suit, upper range, because if they're lower range, they're just going to rebid three no trumps. Four diamonds is six card diamonds, upper range. Four diamonds, sorry, four hearts and four spades are upper range hands with a four card major and five card diamonds. In other words, it's a hand that would have potentially reversed into two hearts or two spades over one no trump or two clubs so the 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 three heart and three spade bids um, might have uh, might be mid range or even upper range if you've got uh, four two five two shape or two four five two, but they won't be um, they won't be maximum. The ones that you, you might have, you sort of fall between two stools and you have to decide what to do, um, is that three hearts and three spades might be upper range if you're balanced. So although there I've said lower range, if you're balanced, you might be upper range. 
because you can't bid four hearts or four spades. What, Roger? What what are you saying the website says? Sorry, I don't follow you. If the website confirms what I've just said, that's fine. Are you saying the website says something differently than what I've just said? The point is, if it goes one diamond, two no trumps, three hearts or three spades... If you're not balanced, then you're definitely lower range. If you are balanced, you might be upper range. So actually, what I've written there that... Yeah, it's only where three hearts and three spades... Um, are concerned Roger three hearts and three spades can be upper range if you're balanced because well it depends on on what your uh, to some extent it depends what your range is anyway and this comes back to what what your balanced range might be okay so uh, notionally 11 to 12 is lower range 14 to 15 is upper range 13 is somewhere in the middle ok but just back to what Roger was on about before over one diamond one two no trumps three hearts and three spades um, you might be upper range if you're balanced. If you're, if you're not balanced, then you're definitely lower range. Because if you were unbalanced, you would be bidding four hearts or four spades. If you're not balanced. We just want to make sure we don't start missing minor suit slams here. Does that cover what you were after, Joe? No, but the point is, Responder is showing 16 plus balanced. If you've got a 15 count, you've shown you've shown your shape. If it goes if it goes one diamond, two no trumps, four hearts. Okay, you're showing a 15 count. Opener's got 16 plus, and you're showing as opener. You're showing four card, a four card major, and five card or longer diamonds. That should give um, responder a a pretty good idea where they want to play the hand. If they got a big black two suitor, they might. Yes, that's right, Charlene. The lower range, the lower range is if you're not balanced. Clearly, if you are balanced, we can't afford to go past three no trumps. So any balanced hand is going to rebid three hearts or three spades or three no trumps over two no trumps. Any balanced hand, no matter what their range is. Okay, the lower range for three hearts and three spades is if you're not balanced. Okay? And if, if opener is 4441, then they have to decide whether they're going to treat their hand as balanced or not.
Okay. Okay, so there's a complex version of OCP, which is not what I'm teaching you at the moment. Um, one of the main critical differences between the two, the simple and complex versions, is the one down responses. The, uh, the complex system uses a completely different methodology. Um, for example, with the complex system, one down, one heart just shows any eight to 10 count. One die and one spade is any 11 to 13. And one die and one no trump is 14 plus. Um, the, the rebids by opener are almost entirely constrained over those. Um, but it, it's, it's a completely different way of working. Uh, whereas the simple system one diamond responses are entirely natural apart from two no trumps. Uh, the complex one diamond responses are entirely artificial. Um, great fun to play, um, but it's hard to... Uh, thanks, Sonia, you always say things like that, but it's the, the complex one diamond is, is much more fun to play. Um, but uh, yes, the, the one diamond responses that I've just shown you are perfectly adequate and there's no need to start rushing into playing the complex system um, because although they're more fun, it's arguable as to whether they're always going to be more reliably getting you to the right contract. The normal one diamond, the simple one diamond system that I've just shown you is normally good enough. Okay, let's have a quick look at a few a few other example hands just to get um, some idea of, of how the bidding might progress. Now, um, East might well bid two spades here. Um, I think if I was East, I would be bidding two spades. Um, but just for the sake of example, supposing um, East decides to show their diamonds... South now doubles to show a uh, clubs and hearts. Obviously, West is quite happy to play in diamonds, but he's quite happy to show his long spade suit en route. So he's quite happy for East to pass two, two spades. He's quite happy for East to say, I don't like uh, spades. Um, West can be fairly sure that East is short in hearts here. Um, And indeed, if it goes one diamond, one spade, two spades, you'll have a similar sequence probably because north south are going to start bidding hearts. Um, but over one diamond, one spade, two spades, uh, West has got a hand worth an immediate invitation. And if north south start bidding hearts, it just confirms that east is short in hearts.
Any questions on that? Don't worry, by the way, if there's any of these where um, the one diamond opening isn't strictly kosher, you'd actually end up doing something different. Um, I think all... Uh, over a double by south, Sanya, I think uh, West would certainly bid three spades over one diamond, one spade, two spades, double. Um, over one diamond, one spade, uh, two spades, double. He might bid three hearts as a long suit trial bid. And now East would certainly bid four spades with their singleton. Um, is that good enough for you? Okay, here's another one. So one heart uh, might be longer, but it's only promising four hearts, not denying four spades. Two clubs by West, almost always four or five in the minors. The times when it's not are statistically um, not really worth bothering about. Um, so certainly East here will assume that West has four card diamonds and five card clubs. Uh, but East is quite happy. It doesn't really care whether West has weak six card clubs or uh, five card clubs, weak five card clubs and a four card major. He doesn't want to play in diamonds, so he's just going to pass two clubs. He's only got a seven count. He's just bid one heart in an effort to try and find something better than one diamond. So that should make uh, eight tricks fairly comfortably. Okay, so the two hearts here is a reverse. Um, definitely over one down, one spade, and one down, one no trump. Two hearts is a reverse, showing five card or longer diamonds and four card hearts and upper range. So as such, this this is now a four suit force. So three spades is showing a partial fragment in in spades. Um,
So because the three spade bid effectively is promising a club shortage, uh, we can be fairly certain that we're playing with a 30 point deck here. Um, if South's got a 15 count, North's got 11. But if if we know that we're missing all of the club suit um, for the loss of only one trick, uh, a bid here of, say, five hearts over three spades is just looking for us not to be missing um, a critical top honour in hearts. Obviously, it's possible that North will just sign off in four hearts, um, which would be a shame because South probably won't disturb that. But don't forget that the three club bid is is clearly interested in more than a game. If North just had a hand where they thought on balance if north is sorry if south is maximum with four or five in the red suits that they wanted to be in four hearts they would just bid four hearts over two hearts so three clubs and then three spades and then four hearts is definitely even four hearts rather than five hearts four hearts let me just undo this a minute or rather just send it again um So four suit force by responder is game forcing. So even if even if North bids four hearts here, he's clear they've clearly got a good hand. that's potentially interested in more than just a game. Otherwise, they would just have bid four hearts over two hearts. There'd be no need to, to bid three clubs first. So even now, if you were playing Roman key card, you could get four no trumps. Um, or you could just cubid your way to a slam. Oops, sorry. I sent it again rather than claiming. But you get the idea. Any questions on that hand? Uh, I think that's enough for example hands. We've got 25 minutes. We'll uh, practice a few. Can I have four victims, please? Don't be shy. Joe, nice to see you. Who else is there? 
This is Joe from Lugs. Hi, Joe! How do you mean, Barry? The implication... Esther says hi. Joe says hi. Joe from Largs, Esther. Tell Joe we need to meet up in Nardinas sometime. So. <laughs> in the new year. Can she hear me? Right. Joe, you've got a date in Nardinas sometime in the new year. Me and Ollie will come over and meet you. Right, enough. Shut up. No, enough, Naomi. I'm trying to teach. <laughs> no, not this hand, sorry. Oh, forget the coffee. Just have the ice creams. Who's this? Joe. Mrs. D, one, two, three, four, five is Joe. Uh, go have an ice cream if you're in Nardine. Absolutely. For those of you who don't know, there's a restaurant called Nardini's in Largs, where Joe lives, which is uh, famous for its ice cream. very, very famous. Best, best ice cream on the west coast of Scotland. It's close enough, Joe. It's better than anything else you'll get around there. She says it's not really Italian ice cream. Very good. <laughs> okay. Um, just claim... I don't know. Nine tricks. Whatever. Okay, I've got one thing to say here. Um, although One Heart is a perfectly good contract for North South, they haven't got a game uh, here. Um, actually, I don't think North should be passing One Heart. The point being that redouble over the double is showing a particular kind of hand um, and uh, it's showing a hand that, that notionally wants to take a penalty potentially from east-west uh, so really one heart should still be considered forcing despite the double by east Because South isn't a past hand. So I do feel that, that North should be rebidding one spade over one heart. Now South bids two diamonds. North shows preference to hearts with two hearts. And everybody passes. And everybody's quite happy. But... Um, Yeah, Joe, can you claim nine tricks or eight tricks? Is it done? Okay. Uh, apparently, I think they did claim, Joe. She says she did claim. Okay, so North-South landed on the feet here, but, but actually I think 
you should end up playing in two hearts after a, a slightly more lengthy sequence because one heart is still forcing Okay, um, let's think, one, two, oh, claim eight tricks on a spade lead, I suppose. Okay, Ellie, what is East's strength? for their one no trump rebid. How many points has East got when they bid rebid one no trump? Yes, indeed, Joe. Uh, Paula. Third. No, it's it's one. No, Trump is showing thirteen to fifteen points, and clearly they don't have a heart fit. They've almost certainly only got. They've only certainly got two hearts. You've got a nine count, albeit quite a nice nine count. At this vulnerability, is it worth pushing for a really thin 3 no trumps? Personally, I wouldn't. I would just pass one no trump with a nine count, even a nice nine count. Because actually on a non-spade lead here, if South decides not to lead spades, you're probably only going to make seven tricks. You're going to try the spade finesse and lose two spade tricks. You've got to lose two heart tricks and a diamond. And that's if you get the clubs right. Sorry, and the club rather. And that's if you get the clubs right. If you get the clubs wrong, you're potentially going to lose two club tricks. So a passive defense from... Uh, East-West, and you could well end up making 
only seven tricks. So potentially in two no trumps, you're too high because you've tried for a game that was never really going to be there. Okay, try this one. Excuse me a second, guys. Absolutely right, Joe. Do we get Inchorin to do all of them? All right, yeah. Okay, so two hearts here is. Yeah, we're not playing asking bids yet. So yeah, four no trumps would be Blackwood here, uh, Joe, and uh, Paula rather. So this is a green heart. You can now, Sanya, because, um, yes, you can at the moment because we haven't, you know, asking bids haven't uh, entered the bidding yet. Oh no, five spades. Five spades, not five hearts, Joe. Because four no trumps, you know, if on the normal rules for Roman Keycard Blackwood. Four no trumps is a green heart.
Okay, well done. Not the safest sequence because clearly, although South is promising 4-5 in the red suit, you don't know that South hasn't got two small clubs and the opening lead is going to be coming through your hand. So actually six spades is a better contract than six hearts. Six spades by North. No, you have got 12 tricks because South's got a singleton club. But what I'm saying is that North This sequence, agreeing hearts, uh, it doesn't, what they actually claimed, Joe, doesn't matter. Um, so I think a better sequence here, I think over two hearts, you'd be better bidding three clubs a four suit force. Now south bids three spades. And now you can bid four no trumps Roman key card. And end up playing because you know that south got a, a club shortage. Um, now you could bid six hearts. Or even six spades where the king of clubs is protected on the opening lead. Could be, but she's she's more likely to bid three no trumps if she's got that shape. The thing is, once she bids three spades, you're probably better off, you're safer bidding to six spades not six hearts she wouldn't bid three spades on over three clubs with two small spades she would just bid three no trumps so when she bids no three hearts is is Okay, Sanya, over one diamond, one spade, two hearts, three clubs is a four suit force. Okay, a four suit force um, is basically asking for a further description of your hand, of partner's hand. So here, over three clubs, if South bids three spades, the chances are that she's three, four, five, one shape. Might be three, four, six, naught. If she was two, four, five, two, she'd be more likely to bid three no trumps because that shows her shape exactly. But if she had two small clubs and say queen X in spades, she'd be more likely to bid three spades. And if South has two, four, five, two with queen X in spades and two small clubs, you can make six spades, but you can't make six hearts. You can make six spades by North, but you can't make six hearts by South if the ace queen of clubs is offside and the opening lead is going to come through North's hand that's the whole point okay no I, I disagree with the idea Michael of reversing just to show points 
if if they rebid one heart if they bid one heart intending to rebid spades to reverse that promises longer hearts than spades i would never i would never do that with a 55 five. with 45 or 46 yes with 56 yes but not with 55 five. as we would see later on uh if we were playing the full version of OCP with the asking bids uh, with asking bids North would be bidding two spades over one diamond and that would be an asking bid and it would go one diamond two spades uh, three hearts showing support for spades and four or more controls now three no trumps relay beta um, four clubs showing exactly four controls four diamonds asking about diamonds four hearts ace king of diamonds um, five clubs five spades singleton club and then six spades Anyway, okay, guys, one more quickly, and then we're going to call it tonight. Um, Um, sorry, Liz, how do you mean three hearts by Paula when? Sorry, I'm not sure what you're getting at. Not forcing. It is invitational, but it's not forcing. Okay. That's a shame. Can we have a lead, please?
Sonia, the thing is, is that over three hearts, if opener bids four hearts, what's Responder going to do now? You're, you're not going to get to the slam if uh, Responder just bids three hearts. I mean, really, in that sequence, three hearts are saying, are you really maximum? Okay, are you really maximum? Or are you just upper range? You know, are you good for your two heart bid? Or are you just average? Or is it, were you stretching for a two heart bid? That's what three hearts is saying. Okay, just back to this hand, guys. Um, I think with a 12 count, West can't afford to pass three clubs. I think West has to make a move towards game. The obvious thing for West to do is to bid three spades over three clubs. Which is, I agree, risking ending up in four spades when Easter's got uh, four card spades. But it's unlikely that they do. Three spades over three clubs is a, a game try. Definitely. Might be a suit, but it's a game try. Um, and I think East would have no problem bidding five clubs over three spades. Because three spades is clearly looking for... Well, no, you don't know that. But it's asking. That's the point. You could bid three hearts, and now East would bid three spades, and you would bid three no trumps, and you would probably go off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On a heart lead, you're going off in three no trumps, but five clubs is gold. As the cards lie. You might. I, the reason you would bid three spades is that your your spade holding is a lot stronger than your heart holding as West, and it's clearly asking um, questions about the red suits, particularly hearts. No, five clubs. If if West is if West is making a game try with three spades, East with a fourteen count can't afford to just bid four clubs. They would bid five clubs, not four clubs. Okay. Do you get the point, Paula? If West is worth a game try over three clubs then East can't afford to just sign off in four clubs. They've got to bid five clubs. All right, guys, listen, we're going to call it a night there. Um, yes, that's right. That's right, um, Wadid. Well, Well, OK. But you're, you said you're going to miss a game. You've got to you've got to take into account what partners showing when they bid three spades over three clubs. That's a game try. 
and East has got nearly a maximum hand. Yeehaw. Yes. Good night, everybody. See you soon. Bye.